Today we're going to learn how to create the Dave Hill effect using Adobe Photoshop Lightroom and Adobe Photoshop CS5. Let's get started. First open your picture up in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. Click develop. We want to go down to recovery and move that all the way up to 100. Next we want to change our fill light. Move that all the way up to 100. And then our blacks. And move that up. I'm going to keep it right there. Then we'll come down to presence. Move our clarity all the way up. Our vibrance all the way up and then move our saturation down until we achieve the effect that we're looking for. And I think that looks good. Then we'll want to export it. We'll put our Photoshop. It's good to get in the use of Adobe Bridge. It becomes quite helpful. Now we're in Photoshop. What we'll do is we'll duplicate the layer, change it to a soft light, and move the opacity down to about 35 to 30%. We'll then merge the layers, duplicate the layer again, change it to soft light, Go up to our filter. Go to other and high pass. We'll then want to move our high pass down to four pixels. Click OK. Merge the layer again. Duplicate the layer one more time. Go back up to filter and add another high pass. This time we want to move it up to about six. Click OK. Change the blend mode to soft light. And merge the layer down again. Duplicate the layer again. This time, go up to Filter and on a, add a Gaussian Blur. Move it down to about 4 pixels. Change the Blend Mode to Soft Light. And move the Opacity down to about 70%. or 60 whichever you prefer. We'll then merge the layer down again. This time leaving it as it is go up to filter, sharpen, and unsharp mask. Now these settings are different with every picture and you may want to play with them to get your achieved effect. Click OK. 
And there you have it, a day fill effect. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to check out more tutorials by me.